Hey guys, and welcome back to the Security Queue, your source for business data security. Today on the Security Queue, we're back with part two of social engineering. All right, guys, last time on the Security Queue, we talked a little bit about social engineering, and I showed you a pretty sweet example. But today, I interviewed two security experts, an auditor and a forensics investigator. And here's what they had to say about social engineering. Social engineering, the part that frustrated us was how easy it was to do this with customers and say, hey, we're here to work on your network, we're here to work on your computers. Uh, can you show me to your server room? And they'd lead us right back there. They wouldn't ask us, well, you know what, you should know the password, I'm not gonna give it to you. They would just give us the password. We would send them a, later, a letter later on to tell them how easy it was to get inside. Uh, they were always quite surprised. Um, usually when you go to a company, they feel like their people are trained pretty well. I've, I've worked at customer sites where they've been really secure and they've done a much better job. But by far, most companies are pretty lax on their rules and people need better training. There's another way that, that's kind of unusual that merchants really need to be on the guard for, and that's you know the social engineer. For example, there was a, an investigation we were involved in where this guy had very, very limited uh, IT skills, but he, he knew how to talk. And he, he simply opened up the, the yellow pages and started calling uh, all of the restaurants in a particular chain that were in this area. He said, I have to do some system maintenance and I can walk you right through it, you know, we'll, we'll do it together over the phone. Enabled a remote session with him and virtually while he was on the phone with the manager, installed malware. All right guys, I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. You may have the best technology on the face of the planet, but if you don't protect yourself from the social threat, you are leaving your business wide open. Our advice, train your employees against the social threat. And remember to always prepare because your security matters. Well guys, that's all the time we have for today on the Security Queue. But as always, we wanna hear from you. So post your questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on the Security Queue.